found a giant acacia click beetle that is currently below Senzo's feet. Senzo's got one foot up on the on the seat, and I'm going to just try and get it out for him ever so quickly. Just hold on one moment. I knew it was there. I just couldn't find it. I saw it this morning, and then it um, it flew up, hit its head on the light, and then disappeared, and I couldn't find it again. Sorry, everybody. Let me see if I can do this, because otherwise poor Senzo's going to struggle to concentrate with this thing lurking towards him. Come, 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 come. Oh, you're so strong. Yes, yes, click, click, click. You're clicking. A giant acacia click beetle. Clicking its abdomen up against, it's got a, a hinge that basically locks and then unlocks very quickly, very rapidly, and that makes that clicking sound. And with an acacia click beetle this size, that's usually sufficient to allow it to basically escape from whatever's got it. Unfortunately for it, I'm a little bit wise to that. Okay, it's all right, it's okay. All right, I'm not going to eat you, don't worry. I promise you, I can't think of anything less appealing. I'll put you somewhere, I shall release you. I don't, really don't want to eat you. Let me place you here. Uh, there's no acacias. Oh, there is an acacia for you. There you go. You can have an acacia. There we go. Perfect. I actually find them beautiful in their own way. They've got that beautiful sort of light fluff covering them. And that whole click mechanism is fascinating. It's really powerful. If you ever have the opportunity to hold one, they've, you can actually feel it. It vibrates right the way through your hand. However, if you are, if you make the same mistake I did when I first held an, a giant acacia click beetle, was to put it in my hands like this to feel the power of the click. Turns out, if it pinches your skin between its abdomen and its head, and its thorax and its head, it will make, it, it will catch you, it will break the skin, which it did. It was an important lesson in just how powerful they are. Now, Justine, you want to know if that was its alarm call? In a way, absolutely it was. It's more than an alarm call, though. It's a defense mechanism. So if something goes down and grabs it, it goes, and whatever it is gets such a fright that it immediately releases it, just lets it go. So it's, to call it an alarm call, it certainly does it when it's alarmed. It's not trying to alarm everything around it. That's the sound of the power of its click. It's got a, I actually have a diagram of it, but not with me, unfortunately. But it's got a hinge mechanism that basically, it kind of catches, it's sort of almost like a ball and socket joint. It kind of catches and then goes <coughs> as, it, oh, I don't know what sound that was. That was meant to be a click. It kind of catches down into the, into the socket itself. And that's what produces that sound. So in a way it's an alarm call because it's alarmed, but it's not to alert anything else as to the danger. It's to get free. It's to break loose of whatever happens to be holding it. Right, moving on from our vehicle content, I have good news about Shadow. She was seen late yesterday with the cub and it apparently